Visconti was at his height, I think, at that time, at his most powerful. He wasn't very well, but of course he had assembled around him within, within the stage artists, within the costume artists, within the period itself, the piece researchers bringing in information. He had spent years, as I understand, st studying and researching. Um, so there was a real sense of energy, purpose and momentum to, to the set and, and working within the studio. Whilst we were working in Chinichita, in those large scenes, as I say, a lot of the large scenes were within sets that were built, Visconti would film with three different cameras. He was very precise as to what his lead actors would do, what lights they would arrive at, what position they would hold their heads. So it could even be that he would want just a slight movement of the head in order to create his cinematic composition. So he was very strict and strident with his actors in that respect. In terms of interpretation and expressing the character, I, I felt that he'd cast what he, you know, actors that he felt were appropriate, and he allowed them a lot of free reign as to how they would make the scenes or dramatically create the scenes.